Alright guys, today on Mac Camper Tools, we are going to do a little versus video between the new DeWalt Atomic Impact Driver versus the new Flex Brushless Impact Driver. On the Flex, we're going to do a 2.5 amp hour battery, and the DeWalt will do a 1.7 power stack battery. And I'm seriously curious on which one of these would win. I don't know about you guys, but please stay tuned to the end to find out. Let's do a head to head and see which one of these will come on top. So let's go to the specs of these and just get to it. So the Flex, with a 2.5 amp hour battery weighs 4 pounds and 2.2 ounces. The DeWalt, with a 1.7 amp hour battery weighs 2 pounds and 13 ounces. Alrighty, so we will use the Flex first. I like doing something a little bit harsh on the first test, so we will do a one and a quarter inch speed bore, and the battery for the Flex is full. I love Flex's battery indicator. I'm still not a fan of this push button because I'm not used to it. You know, I, you know, it, 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 you know, if you get used to it, it is functional, but. All right, so it is on speed three. Now let's see what this can do. Oh, that completely broke the, completely split the wood. One thing I am gonna say while I do this, people like to use impact drivers for this stuff. I personally don't think it's a good idea because this stuff sprays everywhere. And it, it'll, you have to have eye protection on if you're doing that with an impact driver because that stuff will hit your eyes. Do one more. Time. It did not release it in the collet. I like that. Some brands do. Milwaukee. All right, so next let's do the DeWalt Atomic, which this is my favorite impact driver, by the way. I love this tool. This will be my favorite impact driver for a long time, especially with the 1.7 uh, power stack combo with it. So if this wins or lose, it's still going to be my favorite impact. do one more but as you can see this it, it is a little more wobbly inside the collet you can definitely tell that All right, let's switch to a log. We are not gonna charge these batteries. These batteries have to do the same task. So we'll see which one actually uh, produces more power as the battery drains. All right, we're gonna do the flex first. We are using Hilti nut setters. We're gonna do an eight inch lag. Battery of the flex is still full. It's on speed three. Time. All right, so next let's do the DeWalt. Battery on the DeWalt is still full. Battery on the wall still full. Time. I could definitely tell that there was a difference between those. I think the Flex was able to drive that in better. All right, so let's take Flexes out. Time. There is definitely a noise difference between the, these two. All right, so let's take the waltz out. All right, next let's do a uh, six inch specs. We are still using Hilti uh, nut setter bits. Time, that flex definitely is a hard hitter. 
All right, next let's do DeWalt. Time. Take flexes out. All right, so as you guys can see that both of these tools actually did a fantastic job for using the low amp hour batteries, especially the PowerStack 1.7 amp hour. But yes, the flex, I do feel that the flex dominated over the DeWalt. But the final battery life is three bars for the flex. Final battery life for the DeWalt Atomic is two bars. Like I said, it would go up and it did. Even though that, uh, even if one of my favorite tool loses, it's all right in my videos because it's still my favorite tool. But yeah, though, there is nothing wrong with uh, getting the Flex. If you guys ever decide just to buy into the Flex line, Flex is worth it. But I break all types of tools, including Flex and Milwaukee and DeWalt and Bikita. I am healthy. I break all of them. Please check out my community page on YouTube. I post everything in there if I'm not uploading a video that day. I do post a thumbnail of the next upcoming video. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.